In this video tutorial, I want to talk about membership packages within the Premium Press themes. You can find the membership package options under your theme settings, Memberships. Now in this video tutorial I'm using Director Press. however all of our themes, apart from Shopper Press, have this membership options. So if we have a quick look at the membership overview page here, what we have is on the left hand side here some of the display options. We can display the membership packages on the registration page and the My Account page. And then the first one which is Memberships allows us to turn on and off the actual membership system. On the right, this is where you add your packages. Now I've added three here just for this video tutorial, but you can click on this Add New Package button here to go ahead and add new packages. And there's no limit within the theme itself. You can add as many packages as you like and charge different amounts for each package. If you add a package and you decide you don't want it, you can simply click the button again on the right and it will refresh the page. As long as you don't save any of the changes, then none of the changes will be saved in your database. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the actual packages itself then. So if we went ahead and say for add an, another example. So if we followed the routine here, package one, two, three, let's add a package four. So the first thing I would do is click on this add new package. Give it a title and a display caption. In this case, I'm just going to display it as 40. Now the idea of the actual package options is that we don't display the price on the website, giving you the freedom to um, add the price value either within the actual title or the, or the description. So if we go and have a look at our newly created package, which is the one at the top, example package 4, once we've added the packages we can now set up the options. And it's important that you go through and set up each of the options, otherwise the system may not be able to find some of the settings required. Say for example you forget to add a duration or a package price, then when the user comes to pay for the package, if there's no price there then obviously they're going to have a problem paying for it. So first thing we need to do is set up a duration and the duration is basically how long the user will be subscribed to this package for the amount they're going to pay. So for example if I wanted to charge $40 in this case, how long will it be paying, how long will the $40 last? So in this case it might last 10 days, it might last 365 days which would be a year or it might just last 7 days which would be a week. So I'm going to be charging seven, $40 for 7 days and if I'm using PayPal and if to do that I'd use under my payment options and enable PayPal I can then click the recurring payment option which means when they actually subscribe to the package it will then be on a, a subscription base so after the 7 days is up it will automatically charge them again for the $40. Now the next one down we have is the submissions and package ID. Now these two are kind of linked. The submission options um, allow the user to um, either submit normally, which is they have to pay an extra fee to submit a new listing to your website, or you can allow as part of the um, subscription process to this package and unlimited subscriptions or unlimited submission options and this means that then they don't have to pay anything else to, to submit new listings to your website so basically they would sign up pay this one-time package fee or recurring if you're going to be using the recurring and then they can add as many listings to your website as you like now the package ID option under here allows you to specify which package they're assigned to. So for example if you are creating um, different package options under your submission tab, so it would be submission packages, if you're creating different features for some different packages you can actually choose which one of the package um, that you actually subscribe to as part of this membership. So you might allow them unlimited submissions for the free package or you might allow them unlimited submissions for the gold listing package etc etc. Okay, the next one down is this display order, and this simply means the order in which it's displayed on the actual um, page that is the, the user sees when they're selecting the package to join. So it's basically um, a numeric value, so in this case we're going to put number 4 because it's the fourth one down. And this package description is simply a, an area where you can add as much information as you like to describe some of the benefits um, to the user why they should join and sign up for this package over some of the other ones. So I'll just go ahead and um, close this and save it. So I'll save my changes. And what you'll notice is once you've saved your changes, the packages are ordered um, in, the, in the same order that you've placed as an order by value. So it's display order here. As you can see, you've got one, two, three, and the new one we added now is four. And that's the same order that's going to display on our website. So if we have a look at our website itself, say for example, my account page, 
you can see here now we have the packages options we've got one three and four and the reason why we have it we haven't got number two is because I'm currently signed up to number two so what it's doing is it's not showing you the packages you already signed up to because obviously there's no point in signing up again for the same package okay so let me take you through some of the actual display all elements on the front end then. So as you can see here we've got the my account page and on the left here on the admin options you've got this my account option here. So if I turn this off for example, don't display, save changes and give this a refresh. As you can see then the, the upgrade options have now disappeared. So that's what this option does here. And it's the same concept with the registration page. If I go to my registration page Scroll down, you can see I have all of the packages um, on the actual registration page so the user can select a package to join as part of the actual registration process. And obviously again if I don't want this just click on don't display, click on save changes and give it a refresh. As you can see the packages have now disappeared. So that's what the actual options here, the display options here on the left. Now, one of the other options that actually um, enables you to customize some of the package elements is the ability to limit access to pages and listings based on a package. So if we're in the admin area, for example, and I click on directory listings, and I just click on any one of these example ones I've got, if I scroll down slightly, you can see this box here that says membership package access. Now what this lets me do, it lets me limit access to this package or this, or this listing um, on the front end to a specific package. So, for example, if I wanted um, this listing to be only, only, built, only accessible to, um, say, package 2, I can simply select package 2 and click on Save Changes. If I wanted it to be uh, um, accessible to package 2 and 3, I would hold Control on my keyboard and I can select two packages. And then, obviously, if I wanted more, I can just select as many as I want. So, let me give you an example how it works. I'm currently signed up to example package 2. So if I went and set this listing to be only um, accessible to package 3, for example, click on Save Changes, and then I actually view the listing, it's now going to deny me access to this, this listing and say I need to upgrade the listing um, before I can view it. And then it actually gives me the actual package that I can view um, this op listing by. So I could select this and then go ahead and upgrade to package 3. So what it does is it, the system um, is telling the user that the current package access um, has no access to this page and they need to upgrade in order to view it. And it's really very useful, uh, obviously, if you're going to be creating pages as well. So this is the actual listing element, and I can do the same thing with pages. So if I use WordPress pages, I can create a new page or edit an existing one. And the same package elements are again available on this section. So I can go ahead and limit access to pages based on packages. So if you're creating any sort of tutorials or allowing free access to downloads or any sort of ebooks or anything like that online, you can actually limit access to these pages um, based on the membership packages that a user has subscribed for. Now, another quick tool and another very quick feature is under the submission tab. When a user initially submits a listing to your website, the package that their default assigned is to all package access. And what this basically means is that everybody, including visitors to your website, can view all of the listings that um, users sub submit to your website. If, however, you wanted to limit access directly, for example, if somebody creates a new listing and you want only, um, say, package 4 to be able to view any of the new listings that users um, submit to your website, you can do the same concept here and select the packages that you want access to. Now, obviously, be careful what you select here, um, and I do recommend that you, you leave on all package access if you're just getting started, because if I went ahead and, and, and selected only package 4, that means that, obviously, when um, a user submits a new um, listing to my website or edits a listing, the actual access will be only available for package 4. And then that would then mean that visitors or anybody on other packages may not be able to actually view um, that actual package. So as you're just starting, it's a good idea to use on all package access. And if you're going to um, want to edit or modify the actual um, listings later on, you can then choose or edit the um, package access just by editing it in the admin area. But the option here is always there and it's basically just a quick way for you to um, be able to control what packages are assigned to newly submitted listings.